Hey guys, so I have another video for you and today it is the erupting volcano. I seriously have no idea how this is gonna go. Hopefully not too messy, so let's just go ahead and get started. So the first thing I look for in a kit is the simplicity and how easy all of the supplies are because sometimes I'd be getting frustrated, I'm not gonna lie, like when I do like DIY projects that come in a box, I just don't get it. Sometimes I don't understand what I have to do because the instructions are so confusing. And for this kit, it's not super confusing to do but I just don't like the quantity of supplies that it comes with because look at the paint. None of it looks like it glows in the dark and believe me, I tried it. I put it in a dark room, nothing glows. So obviously we are not able to make any glowing lava. And then they gave me stuff like cardboard which I didn't expect because I thought it was actually going to be like a model, at least a foam model of a volcano but not like cardboard. And I really don't like this brush because it's not even big enough to do my nails But they expect me to use that to paint an entire volcano So that also was a disappointment when I opened it and then um, just I don't know just in general I feel that this project looks extremely cheap and just the stuff I mean they could have done a little bit better I mean at least they could have given me um, a something that already looks like a volcano and I could just get right into the painting because after all the whole point of this project is really the lava part I would say just making it explode making a volcano explode that is really the key point to why somebody would buy this kit not necessarily assembling cardboard boxes What I'm doing right now is trying to get the base together. This is where the lava is going to go inside and it's kind of difficult to push the tube down. And then they also give these like supposedly double sided stickers but it's only one sided which I don't really understand why that is. And then you kind of just put this all the way down. I mean overall I feel like the construction with the construction of the volcano was definitely not a satisfying experience. And then this is just like this extra tube hanging in the, in the top. I'm not really sure what that is. And then you, um, I would say this part was kind of fun just because I haven't done stuff like paper mache in a while. So you get these like plasters, they call them um, basically like paper plasters. And then you put them in water. Uh, they also say that you should have a parent with you. I don't think you need a parent to do this. In, in fact, I feel like anyone could do this. It just gets a little messy. So I would probably use some tin foil when you're going to do projects like this because all the white stuff it ends up getting kind of like chalky or whatever. Whatever the stuff that the white plaster is made out of, it will get on your table and get on your floor. So just make sure you have stuff that you can use so you don't make a big mess. And this part is actually kind of satisfying. Oh, and by the way, if you guys are wondering why I'm cutting everything in little pieces, that's because the instruction told me to cut them in little pieces. So in case you're wondering why you don't just put the whole thing on and just not do the little pieces thing. But yeah, the instruction told me to cut them, so I just, I'm following instruction guys, that's all I'm doing. And also I wanted to point out they didn't give me enough of this in order to cover my volcano as you can see it kind of just ran out so then I moved on to the paint part which is really the most frustrating part of this entire project. They gave me the smallest brush to paint this entire volcano and not to mention like there wasn't enough paint in order to paint the whole volcano so at this point I just got super frustrated and it doesn't even look good. I was like halfway through my brown paint and I realized I still have an entire side that I haven't even done and I just felt like it's not 
really good. I mean, I know this kit was cheap. It was only $5, but still they could have at least gave me enough supplies. I mean, I don't really need the other colors, but I would like to have a little bit more brown. And yeah, so pretty much I just got super frustrated. I decided to use my own paint and I know it's not part of the supplies. Oh, by the way, there are some other things that are not part of the supplies. I will get to that in a second. Um, yeah, let's just, let's just keep watching. And I had to change the brush because the little one just wasn't working. I did use it to detail my volcano because there are some cracks and spaces that the big one didn't get it didn't really get into. So I did keep the little brush to kind of like make my you know volcano look more realistic. This color brown doesn't really look like the rock color brown and I know that but I don't have any other brown color unfortunately so I just kind of decided to like put a little bit more black paint make it a little bit messy so it kind of looks like you know whatever like a rock that's um, exploded before <laughs> yeah so then anyway I also uh, got some puffy paint also not a part of the supplies it's my own stuff and just kind of like put some lava on the side So in order to make the volcano explode or erupt in lava, you need baking soda and vinegar. Unfortunately, both of the ingredients were not inside the kit and I don't even understand why because how could I buy a kit and not have baking soda? I mean, at least they should have included baking soda. If not, you know, a maybe just a small little cup of vinegar that they can seal up and put in a box. None of it came with it. So I kind of had to use my own supplies, but just imagine if I bought this box and I went home and I was like, oh, I'm going to make an exploding volcano. And guess what? There's no baking soda in the house. So yeah, that was a little disappointing. If I had to say anything about like, you know, how to package boxes, I would definitely say put enough supplies so that the person could make the stuff without having to buy extra things. Anyway, this is pretty much what it looks like. I exploded in yellow paint because again, I didn't have any glowing paint, which I don't understand about that either. All right, so that's the video. Uh, yeah, it was definitely very interesting to film. Hopefully you guys enjoy watching it. I will definitely have more stuff. And I also have links to other kits that I've tested down below. So make sure you check the description. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!